All right, Shalom, Shalom. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. Kahala Yamla Yahawa, Bashim Yahawa Shai. Bahashim or Chaha Kodash. No honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. These blessed the salutations to the hopefully elect. It's the brother Isar, you with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem, or Chaha Kodash, Lord, when this lesson is edifying. Came across this clip. Um, I'm probably not going to play it. Um, you can watch it for yourself right here as you see the title and the channel, right? <coughs> it was put out six days ago, and it says uh, Indian people admitting being racist towards black people. Now, as you see this guy on the screen, you know, he's he's talking about the blatant racism that happens between so-called Indian people, which we know or we believe through the scriptures are known as the Elamites in the Bible. All right. One of the nations mentioned in the Bible as the Elamites, you know, you, you, you uh, East Indians. All right. You, you know, those guys. Right. And he's complaining and saying, well, look. We're all fellow dark-skinned people. We're all the same in the eyes of the oppressor. So I don't, you know, and you're hearing a lot of key words from Jake. I don't get it. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, you know, and what I'm noticing is you have a lot of this. You still have a lot of Jake that simply don't understand that um, <clears throat> they don't have a basic knowledge of the scriptures. You know, when you have a basic knowledge of the scriptures, and you understand why it is that these nations are against you, right? These nations are against you, okay? But the Bible tells you that, you know, and it's a part of the curses, ultimately. And I don't have anything pulled up. You know, it's just going to be a quick hit, Lord willing, through the Spirit. You know, Deuteronomy 28, of course, the, the curses are depicted in Deuteronomy 28, which a lot of people try to discredit the curses, vocab, a lot of you Christian so-called apologists, okay, which you're really apologists or, or in defense of a false doctrine, okay? Because we go to the scriptures, okay? It said that these things, okay, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass, <clears throat> if thou were not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, when you go to verse 45, it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Now, of course, we know the word forever it goes into the word awalam or olam, okay, which uh, Christian apologists, which, you know, of course, I'm sure the elders have brought this out first, but Christian apologists, you know, like to bring this out and say, see, it's only for a certain period of time. Well, that period of time is not ended, okay, because as we know, the I, the, the all 12 tribes have not been identified of the people who call themselves to be after the people of the Bible to say that they are the people of the Bible. First of all, by their own uh, um, linguistic admission. OK, they put ish at the end of the as a suffix at the end of the word that they claim to be, you know, the, you know, the J-O-O. -O. They say J-O-O -O ish. Right. Which we understand that ish is in a likeness or in a similitude of the original thing. You know, if something is burnished, okay, well, it's similar to being burned. Okay, it's not quite burned, but it's burnished, all right, which is a dark brown. Okay, we understand through the power of actually using the word, but you have semantics, you have people who like to twist things. So by that understanding, J-O-O-ish, right, you know, sound it out. Use phonetic, use use phonics, J O O. You know what does that what does that sound make? You know I'm not gonna say it because these type of words, okay, get you flagged and get you banned because these people rule the world in these times. But is that something that would be upon the true people of the Most High? Would they rule the world, understanding that they break the laws and the in the commandments to this day? 
would they be in rulership? Well, no, this chapter tells you that if you didn't keep the curses, uh, keep the commandments, then the curses would be upon you. You see, verse 43, Deuteronomy 28 and 43, and the stranger that is within thee, he shall get up very, shalaki, shall get above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. You know, but these J-O-O's, okay, these 1948ers, okay, you can't say nothing about them, all right? They above you. He, they the head. They getting supported by us, you know? And hey, if we, uh, well, I ain't going to say us. I would say the U.S. But let you say something about them. You know, as we know, there's a, there's a saying, okay, the people who you can't talk about are the people who run the world. And that's the one people you can't say nothing about. You say something about them, you got nigga coons that'll get on your ass. How dare you say something about that? <clears throat> you got particular historical events that are constantly brought up and, ma and you're made to remember those things. Okay, you know, certain things that happen between two Edomite nations where, you know, a certain group of people was, you know, killed or taken out in certain, uh, you know, areas and, and branded and, you know, you, you're familiar with the popular uh, uh, atrocity that they like to bring up when you compare the atrocity that actually happened to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. It doesn't compare, okay, apples to oranges, right? But you're made to forget the atrocities that happened to the real Israelites, okay, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you're made to remember this fake, I, ain't, I mean, you know, this, this, this presumably fake atrocity that happened to these imposters, okay? So, you know, that's one that's one thing about it, though, going back to Jake. If you knew the Bible, you would understand. <clears throat> and the Bible has history, too. If you understood the history, then you would understand the mystery, okay? Let's go into the scriptures. Let's, you know, there's a couple basic scriptures, man. You know, we can go to Psalms 38, you know. Or it's 83, I believe. Psalms, Salaki, 83. And two, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, meaning they make an uproar. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head, meaning they're taking a stance, a fighting stance against you. When a snake lifts up its head, it's ready to strike. Verse 3 says, They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. So who are who are the hidden ones? See, you know, we got this narrative that keeps being repeated. The Israelites didn't lose their heritage. The Israelites weren't hidden. But the Bible says right here that they have consulted against thy hidden ones. Explain it. Who are the hidden ones? And don't give me some don't give me some crap you're gonna pull out the, out your butt, okay? Give me precepts, give me scriptures. As King David said, do thy precepts, I get understanding. What does that mean? And what and who are the hidden ones? And now this is a basic answer, basic understanding for the Israelites. But you Christians don't have any basic scriptural knowledge, going back to what I said. <clears throat> Through the spirit of Pavia Bashim Yahushua, verse 4 says, They have said, Come and let us cut them off from a nation, from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So this is what they want to do. They want to say, Look, we don't want you to be a united nation anymore. We don't want you to call yourselves Israelites. They want the name of Israel to be no more in remembrance, right? For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. So let's see. All right. Let's see the nations that are involved in this. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes, Gabal and Ammon and Amalek. <coughs> the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Ashur also is joined with them. They have hope in the children of Lot, Selah. So all these nations, man, all the nations are um right all the nations are tied in with this man okay they're all against us you see 
They're all against us. And as you can see right there at the bottom, it gives you the name of the Most High in the English transliteration, which they say is Jehovah. But we understand there were no J's. Okay, and we believe through faith that the way you pronounce, which not it, it's more than just through faith, but you know, of course, Esau has to hide it. But we believe, okay, that the proper way of pronouncing ease is is ha. It wasn't it wasn't ye ye ho we or ye Yahweh. No, it's Yahweh, Yahweh. We believe the name of the heavenly Father is Yahweh through faith, right? So that's where you get that Jehovah Yahweh. Okay, that's his true name. All right. But anyway, you know, these are something basic things that Christians lack. If you knew, OK, you know I me, mean? I wish I would have kept Deuteronomy 28. OK, but I'm going to type it in. So like you for the. Uh, uh, the allergies grow at noonday. See, Jake don't know they left from their right. Deuteronomy 28 and 29 says, and now shall grope. At noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. See, no man's going to be able to deliver you out of this, this these chains that is upon your neck. All right, but it says you're going to grope at noonday as if the, as the blind grope in darkness. Here it is. He's got his eyes wide open. He's sitting in the car. The sun looks like it's high in the sky, and yet he's blind as a bat, as if the light somebody came in and turned the lights off, right? And, and knocked his, if he had glasses, knocked his glasses off and turned off the lights. That's how Jake is out here spiritually, but you know, which Jake is a short way of saying the the, uh, the descendants of Jacob. You know, that's how these, that's how the people are. They're sitting, they, you know, they're they're standing up, they're, they're on these. They're recording themselves saying, I can't believe in 2023 that racism still exists. I can't believe it. Well, you better believe it. That's that's biblical. The scripture said he was that the nations is gonna hate you. Alright? That's biblical, man. Whew. Well, you know, I didn't want to make this too long. And now I'm having an issue now, real quick, so I'm gonna have to end this. But Lord willing, you were edified, okay? Hey, search the scriptures. Search the scriptures, man. And then you find out these, if these, these other nations ain't never had your back. As a matter of fact, they all had you in captivity, okay? But you're so simple, you don't understand it. All right. So I'm going to end it. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to you. How about Shem, how about Shai, by Hashem, Rechah, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. That I'm going to say, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.